Hi and welcome back. Today is a harpoon buoy, <coughs> my harpoon buoy day. Now, uh, I said on my last one, when I was talking about the harpoon buoy, that I was tired of fiddling with it, so I decided I'd send it off. Well, Mr. Young Alex Hanneman wanted the knife. I sent it to him. So I don't know if he's, this is Harpoon Buoy 2.0. I decided, I've got the uh, the 1084, or the 1080 one right there. I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and make it out of 01. I've got 01, might as well go ahead and make it out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've done got one side of it with bevel ground in it. And I've got this other one right here to do it. I've been doing a little remodel, not remodel, but I've been doing a little bit of work to the, uh, things around here. So I've got, I put a better way of tensioning and putting uh, an angle, since I don't do it with a bevel gauge or anything else like that, you know, or I ain't got enough room to, I can't get it to where I need it to be to freehand it, a 1 by 42. So I'm stuck using a jig right now. So what, what, what's okay. I mean, it ensures all the angles is correct. Till I get something a little bigger, whatever, and then I'll start practicing on scrap steel. But anyway, let me see. And let me go ahead and take this off. Won't take just a second. So now, what I did right there was I put a mayday knob out of walnut and right there on the bottom of my table I put a, a block on it and then I drilled a hole back there or just a dimple in there to run my adjustment in and I set my angle gauge which is right there Let's see if it's a okay so that ensures that I get even bubbles from side to side and it's level. It's going to be, see, within four tenths, four to six tenths, and it could be off that much. See? Just by bumping it. But that's acceptable. that so anyway I thought I'd get on it again and try it again and see what I can do with it now yeah and I put up another light so I got a little more light in here so so that's what I've been doing and uh, I was checking my I just have a piece of angle iron for platen on this thing and so I thought, well, you know, you can buy a glass platen for them. So I thought, well, I've got some some glass. It's pretty tough. It come out of a window that was on a golf course. It broke. But anyway, it took a lot of pressure to break it. And it's a quarter inch thick or a little thicker. So I figured, well, maybe that'll take, you know, a while not break. Give me a good solid to keep the belt from beat getting into the to the metal which it will where you go and it'll start eroding the back of the belt will start eroding the your metal platen and so it's the reason some people's went to rotary platens where they could have a rubber backing and do it do everything freehand or whatever like that or they take them off and change them change you know just change them out every once in a while or remill them you know if they got a mill or grinding attachment they can throw them back up again but I don't have that so that's what I thought I'd do I'd try it so I resquared everything up and done everything so this is its first time I still need two more bearings I haven't got them yet but they're coming next week so anyway when I get them I'll put them in there and I'll have it all good and going properly hopefully so anyway let's get back on this thing so, I may or may not show it all, uh, me grinding, but um, if not, I'll show you when I get back to my clip. I'm going to grind the, the top clip 
of the knife. So instead of going with the uh, the 36, the 120, uh, the yeah 36, 120, 220, 320, uh, 600, and 800. I don't have it tempered or I don't have it heat treated or tempered yet. So I'm gonna hold off on them. Normally, if it was in the final part of it and I was already hard and tempered, then I would, you know, if I'm gonna do that straight like that, I would start with a 36 and grind a, a tempered blade and then go down. I ain't, I'm not gonna grind no more that's been heat treated and not tempered because they broke on me. First time I ever had that to happen, Hopefully it'll be the last time, because I'm not doing it that way again. So, learn, lesson learned. So, that's what I do, is I learn lessons that if I can teach or somebody else watch my screw-ups and can learn from them, hey, that's just all the more better. All right, we get back on it. Okay. I'm going to ground, ground the top. Uh, you can see on my platen there that the glass just ain't holding up. The little one by 30, I, I tried it on it. It seemed to work okay on it, but it's a one by 30. So anyway. Safety first, get the mask on, get the mask. Okay. Still ain't clean my shop up. One of these days I will. It's indexable having a a guide or a holder, a jig, whatever you want to call it. And I'm kind of... You... You do, you overcome, you... Any and all adversities. Adapt. Win by any measure. And that's just holding that on there. I can do just fine. Like that. Okay, let's go again. All right. Out to the other. Ain't too bad. do this okay I'm back in the device here on the bench and uh, I've got the guard right here this guard right here is fit up on it and the the spacer is not so I got part of the way but it's up here so and it changes sizes so that's what I need to do right now is take this and I got one of these double cut files here half round I don't know it's probably a Home Depot special or something or the Chinese and stuff but it seems to work all right on its own one I always use the grinder on this and uh, to get it on down 
Now, that fits right in there. So, that. Let's do the spacer. Nope. Not yet. It's getting close. Mm hmm. May have to take it on down back here in the back, which is okay. I can do that. grinder no more than what I'm taking off cleaned it up there now yep that still looks good it's getting closer yep it's getting closer still not enough but it's getting closer now let's see Okay. Yep. Apologize. much to take off of the file. I thought it was a, a little bit quicker than that, but all right, I'll be right back. Okay, I eased it on down there, so that ought to go all the way up now, yep, except for right there, and see what that does when I put this on there. Yeah, that tail. There really ain't no edges on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that goes on there just like so. Just a little. 
Okay. To get that there. are big enough or just the shoulders just keep opening up a little bit on it. <clears throat> it's easier to do all this before it gets hardened. So So let's see what I can do right here now. I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm going to try it. That's the reason I didn't do that. Absolutely, made it tighten up too. Good. Okay. Wow. That's going to be nice. So let me. this off. Here I need about it's got about that much off of it. Right there.
it won't be much more fit up on it so yeah probably if I was guessing I would say it's in these corners here Excuse me just a second. Okay. Uh, I took bumped the tail end of it there a little bit on the on the grinder there. Now let's see. There's that. Focus. There we go. Now all I gotta do is uh, Me since I'm not st All right, it's got that. Okay, like I said, if I had a duck, it drowned. I don't know where. I had some super glue right here earlier. I don't know where it's at. Mm -hmm. well, that's what it is, 1364. Right at the very top. Right at the very top. Okay, so let me get set up here and change belts, and I can get to uh, do a little rough grinding right here. Okay, I'm going to stick my razor, my RZ mask up here, stick it on here, and just go with it, go easy with it. Okay, I think I'll I'll do this. Uh, show the the knife rough ground. I hadn't heat treated or done any any sanding at all on it or anything. I just been monkeying with the tang and everything, getting it in there, and I got the bevels down and everything. So I'm going to clay the ricasso here. In the tang through here, I'm going to clay it up before I head into the house, and I'm going to do that so it'll be soft so I can drill it later on. I need to tang's a bit crooked to where I've been beating on it. I need to straighten it out there a little bit, but anyway, it'll definitely make it look a lot better. Finished product now. Now. That's just there, it's not anything else. It, that's about what it's going to look like when I get it in there. So, then I got to uh, like sheath for it and everything else. That should, this shouldn't take too awful long since there's, it gets no jimping or anything. It just gets a good, a good hand sanding and I'm going to put this this old one, I'm going to put it in the, in an etch and turn it gray. And uh, it won't hum on at all. The only thing I could do is just possibly is just dip it in and it would show a quench line, you know, but it wouldn't hum on. And let's see. Yeah, that's just scratches. Fix it. So, now, look, this ain't no way that this can be broke because it's not hard. Anyway, you straighten this tang out and put, mix up some clay, and uh, I'll show it to you before I go in and call it tonight. 
Okay, I got my Satan hat mixed up. I've just done a little bit down the bottom of this right here. One beautiful thing about Satan hat is, till you fire it, it'll go back into suspension. You can, you can put, uh, put, it'll dry and you can put water in it. And just crunch it up and go again. And I put a little, this on there a little bit wet to start with. So I thought, well, I'll just add a little more to it. And what I'm doing is, is I'm wanting this right here to be soft in this Ricasso area right here. And on the, and then the tang. Because A, I want to drill it, and B, it's easier to fix a bent knife than it is to fix a broken knife. And everything, so. Need to making this tang as hard as woodpecker lips, but uh, This is probably way too much sick night because it will it will honestly hold up to three thousand degrees or it's supposed to anyway. This O one and stuff like that. It won't come on. It's got too much other goodies in there that keeps it from that. Palladium, a lot of magnesium stuff. central core of it a little bit soft let the top stay okie dokie that will stay you got to see that where I hopefully I wasn't paying attention to that but anyway there it is it's hanging over there got it all clayed up and once it dries tomorrow I will either tomorrow or Tuesday or whatever like that depends on the temperature outside and so because if it's too cold I won't be I won't be heading out for a while so anyway
till uh, till the next part of this right here on this harpoon buoy. This Bobby Shields saying, God bless.